Good morning to you. My name is Richard B. Your surely DJ Art is in the building. All right. Jody's here and so is Kevin. Gonna make it happen until 10 o'clock this morning. We're here to get you up, to get you fed, get you dressed and out to work or school or play. It's time for WTF. What the fact? And here we are going, Bridge Nation. A Jamaican, yeah, Yadi, you know the thing, go. A Jamaican invented the world's first portable 3D non destructive evaluation system. It's also known as the NDE system. So let me explain. Mr. Robert Rashford is an aerospace engineer and a leader in inventing tools for outer space exploration missions. In 2000, in the year 2000, Rashford, along with Puerto Rican scientist Charles Rivera, invented the world's first portable 3D non-destructive evaluation or NDE system. Now, the NDE system detects flaws in materials used to construct aircraft, spacecraft, and industrial pipelines without having to take these materials apart. The system was used in the maintenance of the United States government's that famous Hubble Space Telescope, yeah man, it's same one. Now, ha- after studying, he went on to make outstanding contributions to science and technology, and Mr. Rashford has received four National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA Achievement Awards from the U.S. government for work under the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite and also the Hubble Space Telescope servicing missions in 1993, 97, 99, and the year 2000. Now, since the year 2009, Mr. Rashford has served as the main project manager of the Optical Telescope Element Simulator for the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. Now, the JWST replaced the Hubble Space Telescope and they launched in October of 2018. Ayadi did all that. I just am listening and I'm going like, wow. Yeah. This is fantastic stuff we're hearing, man. Robert Rashford. Yeah. An aerospace engineer. But more than that, a Jamaican. That is it. Who has definitely made his mark. Not just um, being a Jamaican, but um, a mark on the world. Yeah, man. Yeah. Aerospace. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is really, really big stuff. Yeah, man. Um, is it, is, were we looking at the Jamaicans just for Black, Black History Month for February? Or we might continue with a few of them, right? We okay. should. Yeah, we really we should. should. Because we're already here so much bad things. Yeah, going on, so right. We could just inject so, some so positivity. Fa- th- thank you, Jody. We appreciate these yeah, and we really, really, I know that the listeners out there, the Bridge Nation also Facts. appreciates it. Uh, we're doing well in so many spheres. <laughs> Although you have to look a yeah. bad exalt of will make we look uh, bad. So many spheres. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, because you're a space right now. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, that was WTF. What the, the fact? fact? All right. It's 28 now. Yeah, get them out. Yeah. All right, Bridge Nation. It's time for update. And boy, hey, the Dr. Beanie man, you know. Hey, you just don't know if I avoid news more while. I don't know. Uh, this is an interesting one because here we go on Bridge Nation. Beanie Man insists that he should be awarded <laughs> the Order of Jamaica. And he said, and I quote, and I mean, say it, Beanie said, me no want no OD. All right, so here we go on. According to Beanie, he is not interested in the lower level Order of Distinction OD, which interestingly has been awarded to compatriots such as Shaggy. Sean Paul, Lieutenant Stitchy, Agent Sasko, Shabarangs, and Yellow Man. But instead, he wants the Order of Jamaica, which has been bestowed on the likes of Sprint legend Usain Bolt, Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe, and the late Cuban President Fidel Castro. Beanie said, and I quote, Babsy, when you're ready for give me mine, my awards may I talk about this time. Beanie asked of the Entertainment and Culture Minister Olivia Babsy Grange, who was present during his performance at the Reggae Month Salute to Dancehall concert on Friday night. He said again, Me no want no OD, a OJ you forgive me. Order of Jamaica, a me run the country, zine. King of the Dancehall, he chanted, before segueing into his hit song, I'm OK, on Sean Nizzle's One Day Rhythm beat. So, you know what, Dingo? As an interesting, rich the audience cheered. I don't know. No, that's interesting, Bridge I know, Nation. I know. I know you know. <laughs> but that's interesting, Bridge Nation. If Beanie gets the Order of Jamaica, <laughs> he will have to be addressed as Honorable. 
Whoa. in formal settings just like Minissa Grange who received the award last year for her sterling contribution to cultural development and political administration in Jamaica. So all eyes on the National Awards um, <laughs> ceremony there on yeah. Heroes Day yes. on October 16th. We'll see what go on. I don't know. We'd find out by August. Yeah. They usually make the announcements <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah. August. <laughs> but I tell you, Mini is something else. Yeah. <laughs> he really is something else. Um, first uh, of all, my first comment is Oh no, look, he never said OM. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the art of <laughs> merit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I, back anno- I back announced his performance, having yeah. introduced him. Yeah. And um, that's the first thing I said after um, giving him his props. Mm-hmm. So, Massive, what do you think about being a man for the OJ? <laughs> well, um, it was hard to tell what the crowd was saying. Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw more smiles and faces than anything else. Because it's not customary for somebody yeah. to go out there and say, hey, I don't want them more ones, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a, a shop right. shop. <laughs> I don't know. So um, I, th- I think this is entertainment. It is. Yeah, it yeah. Because worse than go segue in the tune and yeah, yeah, it's I'm, probably I'm just okay. entertainment. Yeah, get yeah. the people them talking and thing. Yeah. All right, man. Be near, listen, you're a king. You understand? Yeah, yeah. that's all. Yeah, it's, it's, we, we need put it this way. I mean, O J R, you know, O M R. It means a lot. Yeah, it does mean yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> But interestingly, that he was demanding yeah. the one that he wants. It doesn't work like that, um, say, obviously. Leave the country. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, call being in the honorable. That in Ripon. All right. Well, um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was obviously much easier for him to get back his visa mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. than for him, to, <laughs> <laughs> for him, which he does have now and yeah, can yeah. travel to the United States. Yeah, um, all right. <laughs> um, there's an interesting comment that's coming out from um, someone involved in tourism, the executive director of the Tourism Enhancement Fund, TEF, um, Dr. Kerry Wallace, who says that he believes Jamaican music and culture has the wherewithal to join and even surpass tourism as the island's biggest income earner, akin to what legendary pop group ABBA did in uh, Sweden Uh in the 1980s, where they actually became a national asset. Mm. Yeah, a national asset, meaning like the the country it was that was basically um, reaping the rich rewards from ABBA. Um, And then it trickled down to them because they were that big. Um, so as you know, he said, and not one person is going to second guess me, our culture is our strongest brand. There's something about us as a brand, a people, a culture. Yet, from an economic standpoint, culture is not our number one income generator. Tourism is the number one industry, Dr. Kerry uh, Wallace pointed out at a recently held uh, Negril Entertainment Conference. He says, yes, there are synergies with our culture and tourism, but think about it. Our entertainment industry being such a huge brand globally, there is a gap. It should be Jamaica's number one industry. And um, that, that is a profound yeah. observation and yeah, statement man. coming from, uh, from Dr. Dr. Wallace. Uh, many of us actually believe that and would have liked to have seen that. Uh, Why is it not happening? If you have, uh, um, you know, like you have your Bob Marley's as, uh, uh, as, 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 as maybe the, the, the most recognizable mm-hmm. uh, Jamaican name internationally. I don't know, Richie. Why, why are we not seeing it's a close the, second. No, no, no. Yeah? I think they can no, close no, no, the gap. No, no. But I don't think I agree, no. number one. I don't know yeah, because most of our yeah you know are coming in from the cold type of thing. I mean yeah. I don't know. I agree with him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if music can ever overtake tourism like that. To be honest. Well, um, a lot of people are coming here for the music. They are. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree with that statement, Richie. One hundred percent. They can Richie, close. Yeah. The, they can close the hard. gap. You know. But I just. I just. I don't know. It's, it's, know. it's not going to happen overnight, yeah, but the, yeah. the potential is what we're yeah, looking yeah, at. Yeah. 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 And yeah. And I yeah. think if 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 we really um, push the brand more. Mm. I mean, we should be having like like you had the reggae sunsplash tours and so on. We should be having these mm. kinds of things. Imagine if if um if say uh, a bounty or uh, a beanie and just name some artists were to be taken on tour all over the world and 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 and, and yeah. expose our culture. Yeah. The impact that that would have would be greater than That's we could even sit here and imagine. I think we're underutilizing you know what I mean? that trillion dollar industry. Yeah, let me tell but, you. but I, I think the authorities would have to come in and decide to go for it and put in some money, invest in it, and, mm. get, and then reap the rich rewards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, more can be done. A whole lot more can be done for, for, for the entertainment uh, uh, side of our mm-hmm. existence to, 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 to get close to what the tourism dollars are looking like yeah. for us as a country. But it's not going to happen um, overnight. Overnight, yeah. It's going to take a lot of work, mm-hmm. and um, let's see. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
we actually have to start. Yeah. 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 Let's you think see. it's a far-fetched idea, thought? Um, like I, I, in terms of like becoming number one, yeah. it's, like, it's just it, it's it because like, as you said, it's not an overnight thing. Because yeah. the years we are push the mm-hmm. sunshine, the beaches, and the this and the, yes, the music is definitely there, but it's like a it's like a sec, it's always playing second to the sunshine. Mm-hmm. That's how I see. It. That's how I think they've been marketing it, marketing it for years. So I think they can close the gap, yeah. definitely. But overtaking the, the nice sunshine and the dust and the this, I don't know. You're not sure if it's going to happen yeah, in your I lifetime. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a combination. And um, I personally believe they're, they're all together, Richie. Yeah, man, yeah, man. definitely. Sun, For the common good. Sea, sun, sea, and music. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, in closing out update, um, we understand that there was an accident uh, not too long ago on the I-95. We oh, understand boy. that speeding uh, seem, seems to have been a part of the problem as well as improper overtaking. Mm-hmm. So um, one vehicle pushed the other off the roadway and stuff like that. So um, you might see an encounter, some little hiccup on the I-95 over there in Portmore oh, because of this accident. But please, motorists, take it easy as you head out this morning. That's it for oh, Update. Date. Time now for the proverb the of the, the day. day. Here it is. Every day, devil help thief. One day, God will help watchman. Okay. Mm-hmm. Devil. Devil. Spelled D E B apostrophe L. <laughs> uh, refers to the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, devil help thief. One day, God will help watchman. Mm. Yeah. It's on depth, don't Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to the meaning. We should not despair when it appears that unscrupulous persons continue to take advantage of us with no apparent deterrent. God will one day reward the efforts of the faithful. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Long and loaded, but uh, it definitely speaks to what that proverb is all about. Mm -hmm. And um, we appreciate that one. Thank you. It's now uh, just about 6.46, approaching 6.47. And we do have a pet peeve, I suspect, from one of our members of the Bridge Nation. Uh, Pet peeves are things that people do that you find annoying, irritating, very often upsetting. And sometimes they do it intentionally. Sometimes they don't even know that they're upsetting you. Mm-hmm. But um, people speak out about these things. And that is what I like about this feature. Because it allows the Bridge Nation to speak out <laughs> about these things that are considered pet peeves. Here's one for this morning. Here it is. My pet peeve is you have a conversation with somebody and him take your words and twist it. You know, something with them are here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sound like woman do that enough time. Yeah, man. <laughs> Did you see the look? <laughs> you know, so, yeah, we're not to have a look, man, Jody. But that, you know, so she talk right away. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah. Twist up your words, then. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, but I did not say that. It's not what you said; it's how you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> yeah. is it only la- women who are guilty in this regard? No, sir. No, 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 no. I see a no, lady as, across the glass going, no. no as men, as men, we, we, we like fear. We want here too. We're yeah. not going around here. Right. It's true. So like your balance equal. Yeah, but that's true. It's true. We're not going around here. Yeah. But yeah, I, I agree with this pet peeve. It's nothing, nothing worse than that, like a Chinese telephone thing that what people love do. You mm. say one thing and by the time it reach the fourth person, yeah, whatever you did yeah. say it in the first place. Yeah. Oh, who's oh, that, brother? Trust yeah. me. That was not even the intent. <laughs> yeah, get yourself in a trouble and all these yeah. things. Yeah. I'll tell you off the air about my experience in high school in that See regard. Them. Man, See oh them, man. Huh? Yeah, so don't twist people's words. Yeah. And yeah. Um, don't, don't go lying on them either. True. Say that they said what they did not say. Yeah, when you and just, you know that they didn't yeah, say. Yeah, you just never there. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Hear what you want to hear. Are you just too sweet to twist it? Yeah. yeah. Don't twist up a thing. Don't twist up the thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can identify. All right. Facts. So that is, of course, our pet peeve of the morning. The National Water Commission has announced that uh, on Wednesday, uh, some additional communities in Kingston and St. Andrew will experience water restrictions as a result of the ongoing drought. Uh, in a statement, it said that water supply regulations will now be extended to communities supplied by the Mona Network. The National Water Commission explains that the Mona Reservoir's current storage level was at 66% on Friday and is steadily declining due to low inflows from the Hope River and the Yalas Negro Rivers. 
so they saw it fit to start restrictions as early as February. I'm trying to remember if we have seen that kind of um, situation where uh, restrictions had started so early. But um, we want to get some more details on it. And so we're very pleased at this time to be joined by the Acting Corporate Public Relations Manager at the National Water Commission, Mr. Delano Williams, who's our guest at this time. Good morning, Delano. Hi, good morning to Richard B. and good morning to your co-host, Shelly. Greetings, greetings, Delano. Mm-hmm. Thanks right. for having me. Our Thank pleasure. you for joining us as well. And um, I was making the point a while ago, I can't recall whether or not last year or uh, recent years we started restrictions from as early as February. Um, can you can you recall? And, and um, isn't it a little surprising that we're starting so early? <laughs> It, it, it is, in fact, a surprise to everyone. Um, you know, I have to be cautious when I say it's a surprise to us, but then we really don't control the weather. Right. We are just making the adjustments we can. Uh, to give you a comparison, though, last year, at the, at the start of February, the Hermitage Dam and also the Mona Reservoir were still close to capacity. Oh. This year, the Hermitage Dam was already down at January 31st. It was already down more than 15%, and the Mona was also declining. So mm-hmm. there is a significant difference in, in what we're seeing in terms of... We were calling it a few weeks ago, um, which would be mm-hmm. a dry spell, but we are able to confirm via the Met Office's reports mm-hmm. that we are, in fact, in a drought. Okay. Uh, the, their December report, if I might just quickly continue, is showing that there, in terms of there are about seven parishes that are experiencing drought. Kingston, as at that report, experienced five percent, five percent of its thirty-year average rainfall. So to put it another way, Kingston had 95% less rainfall than the average for 30 years, which is what they use as a benchmark. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Interesting facts you're giving us. Um, so we, the Mona uh, Dam, you say, is down to about 66% right now, as at Friday yeah. last, and um, it is steadily, steadily declining. Um, let's look at the worst-case scenario then. W- what if it continues to decline like this um, as we get closer to the summer? W- w- what might happen to all of us here? Well, the, the, what we're hoping for is that the, the, at least the main trends continue. We are in a dry spell, which is what is typical for um, our climate, so to speak. Normally, by May-June, we have rains. But there is forecast an earlier period when we should get some rains, at least by the um, the forecast is February into March, we should get some rainfall. Mm -hmm. What we have been able to do at the Commission, hence these regulations, is to put in um, the 12-hour on and off supply, yes. meaning we are shifting. So we preserve what is in the storages. Mm. We are, so instead of pulling down our full capacity, because the truth is we are not getting enough from the river sources, the Yalas River, the Negro River on that side, on the constant spring side, the Morsham River, the Wagwater River, which feed into the Hermitage Dam. Similarly, the Halls Green. Those sources are not carrying the volume of water that would normally allow us to keep the storages at a maximum while serving the city. So we've had to now adjust in order to save on what is in storage with the small amounts that are coming. There is about 8 million gallons that is still coming into the yellow via the yellow into the Mona Dam, uh, Mona Reservoir, they get part of And that we are trying to utilize as best as possible to serve us. So hence the nighttime restrictions will now come into play. Mm. Now, right. now, Delano, like, as you rightfully said at the beginning of the interview, you said that um, we can't control the weather. Right, we, we, you know, um, is it, so is it expect, are we supposed to expect that, you know, we can't predict how long yeah. um, the restrictions will last? We, we can't predict it, but we are making our best adjustment for it. So mm. 
thankfully we had an NRW program five over the last five years, just ended in, in 2022, mm -hmm. which has enabled us to move water around the city in, in a more strategic way, also to do what is called pressure management. So there are not so many areas that are so high or so low to cause breaks or persons to be suffering without adequate supply. We have also have the opportunity to, with the ferry pipeline that work that we did along Mandela, we have carrying capacity if we need to improve or import a little bit more water from St. Catherine. As we speak, we are, and we've always had an import of water from the Rio Cobra system in St. Catherine. We are taking an additional 2 million as of this morning, and that has greatly aided us in supplying water to the western side of the city along Stone Road, along Washington Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So, so now that um, the Mona Network, um, yes. uh, you know, is uh, experiencing these uh, new regulations, um, can you just highlight some of the areas that will be impacted? Most definitely. So, we're talking about areas: um, Mona Heights, Crossroads, Mountain View, Old Hope Road. Hope Road itself, and some of these areas overlap with what we had published earlier in terms of the Hope system. Mm -hmm. And the Hope system uh, is shut off between 9 p.m. each night and 6 a.m. the following morning. In mm -hmm. contrast, we are going to be shutting off the Mona system at 6 p.m. each evening. So just to continue the areas, um, Beverly Hills, Ravinia, Mona Road, Devon Square, Waterloo Road, Kesha Park, Eastwood Park Gardens. And then on the eastern side of the city, we're talking about Vineyard Town, Mountain View Avenue and roads leading off. I think I mentioned that before. South Camp Road, Winward Road, uh, Franklin Town, Downtown Kingston, extending out um, to Trench Town and also other roads leading so everywhere in, in the downtown Kingston area, to be precise. And all of and these we, areas that you're mentioning will be getting supplies between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m.? 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we are asking persons, again, be in a state of conservation, but also have your storage available so you can have water during the periods when no supply is coming. Um, sort of being devil's advocate here, um, Delano, mm -hmm. but, but, you know, some members of the public um, are out there listening right now and maybe are thinking, boy, we're in this spot, um, partly due to poor management by the NWC, um, poor management of our water resources. Um, how do you respond to, to, to that critique? Uh, we, we would rebuff that. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, we have actively been working on saving water, preserving water. More needs to be spent on water. Um, and it is not always money that is available to us. But we have been making great strides. The NRW program that we mentioned would have helped us to save uh, over 30% in terms of what we were losing before the program commenced. So Kingston and St. Andrew is now down to the 30 and we're aiming to take it a little lower in terms of what is more globally the standard for NRW losses, that is non-revenue water. Mm -hmm. The program has now extended into the Portmore municipality, and the model used in Kingston is being replicated there to allow us to, to continue to save on water and put in the kind of infrastructure that is needed to carry us into the next several decades. To add to that, recently we signed a uh, public-private partnership with a number of stakeholders to construct what is called the content water supply system on the Rio Cobra, which is an area where water is in some level of abundance, and that will import into Kingston and St. Catherine on around 15 million gallons. Now, that program is slated to commence in May, and while we won't have that water ready for this year, we anticipate that as soon as it is completed, it will again enhance what is available to not just Kingston, but as I said, neighboring parishes. Mm. 
No, Delano, before before you leave us, um, I'm, I'm curious. You know, you mentioned um, consumers, you know, using, you know, a bit of discretion during this time, you know, conserving on water yeah. and so on. But what else can we do to help ourselves during this crisis? Well, definitely fixing the leaks, understanding that every drop counts. So conservation in all its facets. So we typically are inadvertently, we are brushing our teeth and we are running the water. Save on that water. Use a cup, use a small container. Washing the car, again, use a bucket. Uh, anywhere in your household, you take a look around the property, see if you have wet spots or if you see the toilet having marks in it, that is suggesting that possibly there is a leak that might not be so visible to the eye, but it is still trickling and nonstop and repair those kind of leaks, replace the faulty fixtures if they are in and recycle water. So for instance, water from your kitchen, uh, laundry, you can use that to, at a very dry time like this, to sprinkle the yard or to water the lawn, uh, instead of using fresh portable water now to carry that up. Because there's just not enough water for us to carry out the non-essential uh, activities. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the whole matter of ensuring that there's no leak is very, very important very. because one little one, li one little drip can uh, make a big impact mm -hmm. in terms of your water bill. Um, mm -hmm. uh, talking about water bill, how are you doing as far as collections are concerned? Any word you want to share with us on that? Are people well, paying we, up their bills? We, we, we saw an in encouraging response to our recent Flash and Dash competition. Mm -hmm. Richie, I don't know if you got a chance, but all the persons who pay their bill in full and on time during the Christmas, which is mid-December into the 31st of January, all those persons were entered in a draw. And the, the grand prize was a trip to Spiras, so all expenses paid, including airfare. The mm -hmm. second prize was a three-night, four-day trip down to Montego Bay Sandals. And we also gave away a 55-inch television set for the third place. I didn't so hear we my name. Encouraged yeah, man. I, no, I'm saying I didn't hear my name, although we paid. Oh, you no. didn't hear your name? <laughs> no. Uh, well, we want you to keep trying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we want you to keep trying. So, we will. So we were encouraged by that. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the presentation of those prizes on March 16th, having selected the winners last week on the 23rd of February. So we're, go we're definitely looking for more persons to keep paying their bills mm -hmm. so we can have not just giveaways, but also continue to improve and expand the system. Most definitely. Congratulations to those winners. You've given us a, um, you know, a lot of information, but uh, even as you, um, as you have, uh, yes. li listeners are participating in the discussion. Um, right. the, may I just ask you one question coming in from a member of the public? Most definitely. Good morning, sir. Um, NWC, there, there is a pipe in Alderton where I run like bolt, <laughs> um, yes. um, and people have no water. Um, that pipe needs to be fixed. It's from November of last year. Uh, it no look good at all. It's coming from somebody in Alderton. So um, okay. you might want to make a note of that, A-L-D-E-R-T-O-N. All right, we'll definitely check on that one. If you are able to share, that's in St. Anne, I'm checking. Yeah. Uh, if you're able to share any contact for the person, for some of the locations, Richie, uh, because they don't have a fixed civic address, like to say um, John Road in Alderton. Yes. It makes it a little difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, and so sometimes, even with the best of efforts, we'll pass a few. But we will try to get to this one. All and right. we'll as soon as possible. And my producer, Jody, she will, she will uh, pass on the contact information for the individual. Most definitely. Delano, you've yeah. given us a lot to um, Respect, think yeah. through. Thank you so very much uh, yeah. for if your I openness and honesty. one thing with you. Yes. Uh, so typically what we get is persons, we want to remind persons the service time is between. Now, when we turn on at, say, 6 o'clock in the morning, and in fact, for Mona, we're going to be turning on a little earlier so persons can get water at 6. But not everybody's going to get the water at the same time because water moves, physically moves along the pipe as it recharges, we call it. So some persons will get it a little before others. The pressure also will gradually improve. 
Yeah. So we're asking persons to understand that dynamic and to be patient with us. All right. All right. All right. Um, you know, but one of the things that somebody's also pointing out to, um, the, the, you're, you're locking off for, uh, for, for a certain number of hours. And the question was, why yeah. not reduce the pressure so that um, persons would still have water, but uh, it, it's not flowing heavily? Um, was that ever considered or, or, or that yeah. is not? It, it, it was considered in this case because the Mona has also been carrying a load in terms of helping with someone. So the Constant Spring system mm-hmm. is, is further depleted or far more depleted than this one. So we're having to try to replenish um, mm-hmm. both systems in, in one go by turning off Mona at night. Okay. If things improve come March, we will make the adjustment to give persons more relief mm. and more water. All right. Mm-hmm. Delano Williams, thank you so very much. Have a good day, my brother. You too. Thanks All for right. having me. Our yep. pleasure. He's the acting corporate public relations manager at the National Water Commission. Water is life, yeah. but we have to be in the mode of conservation right now because mm. of the drought that we're experiencing in this country. It's now time for us to welcome another guest on the program. Yes, yeah, all about Fresh Face Tuesday, and our guest is a talented reggae singer and musician known as VD. Now, listen, Bridge Nation, possessing a unique vocal style all of his own, isn't me? Coupled with dazzling songwriting skills, VD believes it will only be a matter of time before his name will be known around the four corners of the earth. Vedi is currently promoting his new single called Lovely Mood. And right now, the mood is just heightening, you know, Richie. Got a man falling out with him, guitar and yeah, things. It's like a good look. Yeah. Vedi, how are you going? Today, my brother, man, it's a pleasure, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, Welcome, man. bro. Yeah, it's man. a vibe, man. Um, uh, Shells, Shells <laughs> spoke about his own guitar, <laughs> yeah. which uh, he Aye. needs to learn to play. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it, it, it'll look good. Yeah, Vedi, you might have worked out some lessons for him, you know what I mean? No problem, man. <laughs> for real, man. But once you have one, that's the first. That, that's the biggest step. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah man. So anytime you feel that vibe, you can touch it. Yeah, never mind the fact that it's an ex girlfriend, give me. No, man, no, man. <laughs> Just enjoy it, man. I'm sure she has a few things that you gave her as well. <laughs> so, um, is it the only instrument that you play, Vedi? Yes, but I'm practicing the keyboard. Oh, as and, as and, as okay. Yeah. Why the guitar, though? Yeah, because it's in my blood, you know, my father is a guitarist mm-hmm. and a singer as well, you know. Oh, yeah. respect, okay. Yeah, respect. Man. Okay. And we gravitate to a lot of reggae music with the guitar lead mm-hmm. from when I was younger, you know what I mean? And a lot of Jimi Hendrix type of vibe. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So you incorporated as part of your, uh, your act when you're performing yeah. and so on? Definitely, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, man. Um, would you say that it's important for artists to, um, or it's helpful, um, beneficial, for an artist to, 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 be, to be able to play an, play an instrument. Definitely carry upon a different heights, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Get it more edgy, more sharp, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it teach your keys and notes, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, mm-hmm. it, yeah, man, it opened your, your, your mind to yeah. bigger things. Yeah, definitely. And it also yeah. further the, the discipline too, you know what I mean? Because it's all about it, you know, as you rightfully say, the, it's the aesthetic, the look, and just, you know, make it right. even more in tune with the craft. So I understand that. Mm-hmm. Now, when did you realize, can you say, you know, you had a, an early start with the music, but when did you realize that, you know, say, oh, I can go professional with this thing, huh? Yeah. Uh, um, I was actually always singing from a young youth growing mm-hmm. up, you know what I mean? But like seven years ago, uh, I started playing the guitar, mm. you know what I mean? But you can see the improvement, you know what I mean? The different sound, you know what I mean? We learn about keys and notes, you know what I mean? And skills, mm. you know? So we also go and learn and shout my craft. Mm-hmm. Respect, respect. Yeah. You talk about the sound. Um, how would you describe your sound and the yeah. kind of music that you're doing? Reggae. Dance style, mm. uh, blues, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jazz, you know what I mean? That's a wide, that's a wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. everything together. Yeah, yeah man, man. With the that. timeless music, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. man. Now, speaking of the timeless music, you have a tune right now named Lovely Mood. Right. Now, tell us the inspiration behind Lovely Mood. Yeah, man, Lovely Mood is just coming out of love, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, 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 Empress. You know what I mean? Just in a lovely vibe all the time. You know what I mean? True. Um, sharing a good energy. You know what I mean? Because love is the key, you know? All Even the time. strength. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. but for always show that love. So, it's it inspired by love. And just natural people around me will show love. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I love that. I yeah. love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you go as far as saying you wrote this one for your empress? 
Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and as we say, uh, many more too because yeah. um, music never stops. And every day is a different story. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Every day. So Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, the, the music industry is a very competitive industry, as you very well know, um, Vedi. Um, mm-hmm. You talk about the edge. What, what gives you the, 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 the edge, so to speak, in terms of uh, you and, 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 and the, you know, what you want to achieve and what you want to accomplish in the music industry? Um, give us a vibe as to what it's like for you right now trying to make mm-hmm. your way through this very competitive mm-hmm. uh, and interesting industry. Yeah, man, definitely. I have to just keep focus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? always show me a craft mm. right. keep practicing non-stop you know what mm-hmm. I mean because you don't know when that day can come so basically I just always stay on my feet and ready for anything you know what I yeah. mean yeah. Respect. Yeah. on respect. my toes respect yeah, now now Vedi if I do the guitar <laughs> we know it's a lovely mood of the, of the, of the tune you push right now yeah so you know I can ask for a little version there you know what I mean alright I'm ready to reach him long time long time weird there lovely mood Moving shoddy, shoddy. Yeah, me love how you do it, girl. Yeah, me love how you moving shoddy, shoddy. Yeah, me love how you do it, girl. I'm in a lovely mood when I'm next to you. I feel the rhythm and joy the good Lovely mood when I'm next to you I feel the rhythm and joy the good It's the perfect time and place, girl For you to feel my warm embrace, girl I got love for you. Oh, I got love for you. I make your gray skies blue. I make your gray skies blue. You know my love is true. You know my love is true. And I'll be there for you. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely moon when I'm next to you. I feel the rhythm and joy the groove Lovely moon when I'm next to you I feel the rhythm and joy the groove Lovely mood Yeah! Yeah, give them all a round of applause man A big, 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 big performance that Bridgerton Big up, Vidi Yeah Yo Right now the fans are excited, Vidi it's a good look. Where, where can persons find you on your music? Well, you can find me on all platforms, you know what I mean? All streaming platforms. Um, Instagram, Vedi Music, V-A-D-I-E. Facebook, Vedi Music, V-A-D-I-E. Twitter, you know what I mean? All platforms, V-A-D-I-E Music. Can't go wrong. Yeah. All right, so while you um, work on your craft, your talent and so on, um, you underst- you're also making sure that you try to understand the music business. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Right? Oh, that's a very good point. Yeah, you know because what I mean? that is yeah. important for you to go mm-hmm. through, you know what I mean? Definitely. So that's make sure, key. yeah, royalties on them thing, they mm-hmm. register mm-hmm. up your thing and you know that's the thing, though. key. That's yeah, key. very yeah, important. That part. That come first. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. We like what we hear. We like what you said with a while ago from your natural voice into the falsetto with Ooh. consummate ease. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, um, obviously, you're a very talented guitarist as well. Look out for him, ladies and gentlemen. Vedi is his name. Great meeting you, bro. Anybody want to send some shout outs to? You want to send some shout outs to anyone? Yeah, man. Big up the manager, yeah. management team, 40s and NU Men's Music Production. You know what I mean? Noreen Fabs, big up yourself. You know what I mean? Big up all up road, up road, Mountain View. You know what I mean? Anchor Studio. Oh. That's where it come from. Oh. All right. Vedi was here, ladies and gentlemen. 
<laughs> How's everybody doing? You want to put yeah, something good. back in the stash because of that Trinidad, that trip to Trinidad, right? No, I'm sipping coconut water right now. Wow. I have like a four-day migraine. I didn't want to tell anybody. Wow. But I think it's because of the snow, honestly. Oh. You know, when you come back here and your nose, sinus. Mm, sinus and, is, mm. Yes, oh. it's a mess. It's a mess. Channel. And then now we had a snowstorm yesterday. Today it's thawing and it's just... Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's one of them not days. Fun. One of them yes. days. What's up, Rich? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, fellas? <laughs> we're doing we're well, there. man. We're there. Yeah, we're welcome back. back. The- welcome back, Red. Thank you. Um, I came back with some tunes. So Ritz and I are going to oh. get into uh, the top three Road March songs. So we have it. the winner that's going to come last. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I was telling Ritz Jamaica has a carnival. He was like, no, it's yeah. a reggae carnival. I'm like, no, no it's Soka. Soka. Where have I been? It's big, too. A lot, of, a lot of people leave Trinidad and they head to Jamaica yeah, right. as the yeah, next major big. stop. Yeah. But it's interesting that you mentioned that because myself, Shells, and DJ Audley, we were just looking through. Um, uh, the, the songs that you mentioned, the the, the uh, Michelle Montano with "Like Yourself," right. the Nyla right. Blackman and Skinny Fabulous "Come Home," That's and of my course, jam. and of course oh. the bi- the big one, "Hard Fet" with Bonji Garland. So uh, right. great minds definitely think alike. Right. But I was also looking, um, uh, also read at the fact that um, the Soka Monarch competition this year was cancelled. Um, yeah. I don't really, yeah, I guess it was. I it, had a pass was. for it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Listen, I went to Mashal on the Friday. WizKid was there um, and other artists. And I will say this. Caribbean people really, like when, you know, it, it, I kind of felt bad for the kid because I felt like Mashal should have brought him on. So I don't know if you guys know this. It was like mm-hmm. 40,000 people, Mashal's birthday. Wow. So it was like the one show. So one-stop show, all these artists were on there. Um, but in the past, he's brought on Tamaya. He's brought on, you know, whoever and, and you know, made them like part of that the show. This mm-hmm. way, they kind of perform first. And Caribbean people, boy, let me tell you, Trinis just want their soca. Whiz kid, uh, mm-hmm. like they were just like, I, I don't even know if I heard one person. Oh <laughs> no! Uh, I think he just oh, walked wow. off at the end, oh. honestly. And I felt bad for him because it's like, it's a soca weekend. It's kind of like Jamaica having a sun fest on a reggae night. You uh-huh. want that? And Afrobeats, uh-huh. don't get me wrong, we want it yeah. in the Caribbean in a party setting or for. A shorter period Mm -hmm. now another thing I got to say is I have a I realize in life I'm a reggae girl I love my soca I'm Bajan yes and Guyanese but on the boat on the epic carnival cruise which is great if you're traveling to Trinidad and you don't have friends or family or even if you do because let's be real hotel life is nice (laughs) um, Taurus Riley was on there Um, Mr. Vegas was on there. A whole bunch of artists were on there. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest with you, it felt good because soca is a lot of work with your waist, right? It's a lot of work. So it's kind of nice with Tanya Stevens was there and like drifting side to side and just like, you know, the lovers. Yes. Yes, Easy. So I think, I think, you know, for me, the cruise, I really liked the fact that there was a lot of reggae on there. I Mm -hmm. needed that. Yeah. Um, But the soca this year, I got to say. It was the bomb. I, I was, agree I was with shocked. You. I was scared. I agree with you 100%. Because the Soka, I, I, you know, don't hate me, whoever's listening to this, but I just say it like it is. Yeah. Soka kind of fell off for a few years. I, it was mm-hmm. good when the Ola Tunje, and remember when they rode the rhythm and Tibet, uh, uh, let me see you clap those hands. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then it kind of like. This year. I don't know. We this had year. Some big songs listen. this year. I mean, even Nicki Minaj jumped on the song yes. Shake the Place with, um, with, um, yes. with Masha. Mashal. And Destra, yeah. Yes, and De- oh, Destra came on the boat too. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, and Tanya Stevens, I didn't even know it was her. I was standing there talking to her for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Rupi was on the boat. Um, uh, so many artists. Nessa Preppy came on the boat. Uh, DJ Private Ryan was spinning. Uh, DJ Steven, big out, shout outs to DJ um, Power. Uh, Mr. Vegas' DJ, I love that kid. DJ Skip, he played really dope. And he's Jamaican, he's 27. Wow. He's on the mic. He was so good. You got to check my grandma out and, and, and check him out on his page wow. at The Real DJ Skip. Um, but And he's from New York. So you know that New, New York, Jamaican, Jamaican, you can't go yeah, wrong. Drew. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. honestly, the soca this year was really, really good, and it was a safe carnival. And there was so many Jamaicans. Actually, one of my friends, 
I met this girl, and I didn't even know I met her in Jamaica years ago at Doctors Cave Beach when they did a party for New Year's. Ah, Montego Bay. So, yeah, ah, so yeah. it's such a nice combo of, like, when you see people from back in the day and everybody's family. And, um, yeah, Mr. Vegas, you know what? He's in the best shape of his life. He <laughs> sounded really good live. I know there's so much going on with him and Killa. <laughs> about, about, yeah. <laughs> about to kill yeah, I was like, let me just stay out of this one. Yeah. But, you know... His it, vibes it, are up, and I showed him Shiloh. He's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this. In Trinidad, yep. we didn't get a chance for him. It was like hit after hit after hit, and repeat, 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 rinse, wow. wash, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like the big song's got a lot of rotation. I was seeing where Bungie yeah, with Hard Fit got about 135 spins, mm. um, and the song that's, that came third yeah. was down to like about 50 spins. You know what wow. I mean? So the That's big songs, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're dancing, and then you're, you know, they play Nyla, and then all of a sudden they play something else, and all of a sudden you, it comes back to, uh. I dun, and everyone goes crazy again, you know? <laughs> okay. Like kind of like when New York has a new song, or even Jamaicans, you know, mm -hmm, like when mm -hmm. a new uh, record busts and it's hot, and yeah. mm -hmm. and Everybody nobody's complaining, it. yeah, yeah. played <laughs> over and over. But I do like the rhythm like that, and that's how it's probably gonna go for the rest of the year, yeah. because you know, Trinidad sets the pace, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just True. allow me to say hi and uh, related happy birthday to Miss Beryl. She had a birthday yesterday, Traffic Man Tony's mommy, and we wish oh, her a great oh, nice. day and a, a wonderful year ahead to her, all right? Uh, all right? Rhea says, good morning. She's loving it. She knows what the uh, pain feels with the snow, and you guys are bringing the heat. Wow. Craig says, lots of fire. Akima wants to say, uh, we're all mashing up the place. They're loving it. <laughs> All right, well, we, we enjoyed it as well, but yeah. guess what? The clock on the wall is giving us a certain signal. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> you guys going to do that little bit again? I was like, is it the clock? Yeah, or we can do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> This has been courtesy of the Jamaica Customs Agency and Crime Stop in Jamaica. Hey, the Jamaica Customs Agency. Country, Country above, above self. self. Ah, Ritz. <laughs> Ritz time did not that. I like it. All right, guys. Have a great day. Take care. It was fun. Have a good day. Yes, have a good one. Big up to you. All right. That was, of course, the uh, Canadian Connection.